Please welcome, you guys know him, NBC4 News Weathercaster. Hello, Fritz Coleman. Welcome. Hi, guys. Welcome. I'm proud of you. This is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> it's a great service you're providing. Veterans. Thank you for being on our show. I'm happy to be here. I was in the Navy from 1969 to 1972. It was a four-year hitch, but at the end of the Vietnam War, Richard Nixon was downsizing the military, so I got a six-month early out, so I did three and a half years. Wow. The, the Navy did a couple of things for me. It saved my life mm -hmm. at a time when I was a walking adolescent idiot. It, it, it was so important for me to help me grow up. Second of all, it introduced me to my career. When I went in there, they were looking for volunteers to work for Armed Forces Radio and Television on a ship. I was on the USS John F. Kennedy, mm -hmm. a member of the Sixth Fleet out of Norfolk, Virginia. So it gave me my career. It introduced me to my career. And the beautiful thing is, when you're in the military and you have a job, regardless of how bad you are, you stay in that job. You don't get fired. Right. So I had the freedom and the gift of being really bad on the radio, but you never got fired. So I got to be bad for three and a half years <laughs> until I got good. I was out of work one day. That, that's how the Navy helped me, because I worked for Armed Forces Radio and Television. I was on a ship for three and a half years. And while I was out there, I made tapes, radio tapes, and sent them out to commercial radio stations. And I, my home was Philadelphia, so I sent them to Philadelphia radio stations. And I got hired the day after I got out of the Navy. Two things happened to me. I got my first pair of glasses, and I got, <laughs> and I got my first job in radio, wow. and uh, and I, I was employed ever since, and I did 15 years in radio. Anybody that has known me since I was a child knows that my stint in the military, my three and a half years in the Navy, saved my life. It gave me direction, it taught me discipline, it made me proud, it gave me the self-satisfaction of knowing that I served my country. It was a non-combat role, but I did what my country asked, and had they asked me to be in, uh, in a battle situation, I would have been there, and uh, they introduced me to my career, and uh, they, they started a chain of events that have made for a really happy life for me, and I owe that to the greatest single decision I ever made in my life without question that was investing in the Navy. Fritz, it's been an absolute delight having you on our show. It's thank been an you. honor. My pleasure, guys. And thank, thank you for your service. Keep up the good work. Thank you for thank your you service. Thank you, Fritz. Thank you.